from uh, Jens uh, Wahl in the Skoda Fabia. Look at all the Audis bashing and bumping the Fiesta. But he's once again Jens Wahl who gets out clear. Martin Shaw is behind him. Arujo is third. Uh, Voland and Rukaukis uh, battling it out for four and five. Oh, Vil Neil Voland makes a big mistake in the background. Damage to the front of the car. Wonder if he's got an issue from that contact in the opening corner, Nick. Wahl is in control here. And this young lad really has been impressive this weekend, making his debut on the Euro RX3 series. Here comes Zafal around the tarmac correct lap, and he's got it. Jens Val will take the first of the semis. Martin Shaw, second position. Arujo is battling and battling bravely right to the end of the fifth and final lap, with the Portuguese driver finishing third. And uh, the City Go looks for top position. Kobe Powell is alongside Jan Journey. Kobe Powell whips that. Oh, that Audi into the first corner with absolute confidence. Oh, and in the back, and Anthony's acceptors hit the wall in the first corner of lap two. Are oh, the cars behind going to see it? Oh. oh, that was a close call. And again, Jenny goes for the Joker lap. Uh, Litvinovic is in third positions. That allows Kobe Powell's out and clear. Just waiting to see if Czerny has any issues with uh, Damian Litvinovich. None whatsoever. Kobe Powell's win semi-final number two wraps it up with the best lap time to go with it. Jan Czerny is in second. Damian Litvinovich just holds on and will be the fifth driver to qualify for the final. Oh, it almost looked like a false start there, but Jan Czerny got it right on point. Jan Czerny, with that superb launch, takes the early lead. Kobe Powell's is coming around the outside of the Czech driver, and they are neck and neck into corners two and three, but Czerny holds them all off. It's a great start with the two Skodas, one and two, in the early stages, Hal. So Czerny is out in front in the Citigo. Val is in second position. Litvinovic is in third position. Kobe Powell's and Martin Schott is in fifth but of course the three out in front still have to joker and Cherny's gonna joker this time around I wonder if he ought to have stayed out though because he needs to try and increase that margin a little bit Vinovic is now out in front and look at this battle here oh Luke uh, Cherny has had to go oh he's clipped their wheel and Cherny's out Cherny smashed into the tire barrier Kobe Powell's championship winner for 2022, and he wins the fifth and final round of the season. It's great, you know, winning four races out of five and one the second, and then, you know, I missed the start a little, and Jan got the whole show, and then as well with uh, with Val uh, coming in front of me, and then the first lap Joker, and they waited till the third lap to go into the Joker, so I knew I had an extra lap to push, and this was right enough. We exited the Joker side by side, but I, I wasn't going to give up. I was for sure not, so I, I also didn't. And uh, yet again, to get this victory after such a difficult start of the weekend is amazing. And I have to say enough, I can't say enough thanks to the team who have put me every race all throughout the whole season, this amazing car. And uh, yeah, just a huge shout out to them and to everyone supporting me. So the championship standing, see Kobe Powell's comfortably taking the title. Damon Litvinovic is in second position. Jan Czerny gets the better of Ribeiro, but it was second spot that Czerny had his eyes on before racing today. The Czech driver finishes third for 2022. There is no question, Kobe Powell's is ready to make a big step up in the world of Rallycross.